Now, the House of Representatives has stepped down the bill seeking to change the minimum requirement for the office of the president, vice National Assembly members, and other political office from four school leaving certificate to a degree or its equivalent. This followed the introduction of a bill moved by Representative Adeomi Ononuga during plenary. Titled a bill for an act to alter the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic as amended to change the educational qualification for elections into certain political offices and for related matters. Plus, the easy manually hygienist report is presented from our studios. The minimum requirements for the office of president, vice president, and national assembly members in Nigeria are clearly outlined in the 1999 constitution where the educational qualification for the office of a national assembly member in Nigeria being at least the school certificate level or its equivalent. But Honorable Hadewumi Onanuga, a federal lawmaker from Ogun State, thinks that this should not be the case, but rather that the qualifications in political offices, especially political offices, be upgraded. She brought the bill to the floor of the House as a bill to alter the 1999 Constitution to amend the educational qualification of elected and political office holders. And they even go and do the mandatory one-year service of NYSC, and they cannot get jobs or even appointments in the in the of um, in the uh, in Nigeria in any offices or in any uh, agency or department or ministry without having served their country. And they would have gone to at least a university or its equivalent and have that qualification with them. But then if you're going to be a member of a state house of assembly, a councillor, a member house of representative, a senator, a president, a governor, all you need is a high, a high school certificate to qualify to be in that position. Are we therefore saying that our children have no reason to go to university or to get any education in that in that equivalent. So this bill, sir, seeks to make sure that everybody is brought to par, especially those who will be directing the affairs of this country, either from a state level or from a, a, a national level. The bill attracted comments from members who argued for and against it, with many saying that the declining standard of education has necessitated the upgrade as this will motivate Nigerian youth to expire. We Nigerians, we always see leaders of other nations talking, adumbrating, articulating issues, engaging the public and engaging their opponents, and we are proud of them. Then we have some here that are dodging debates. Presidential debates, they won't come. Give press conference, they won't go. Because they are afraid to face the public with unanticipated or unprepared questions. Let us stop deceiving ourselves. I do not believe that this should apply to all categories of elections. At the local government, you don't need a university. You need to know your local government, your people, where the streams are, where the bad boys are. But if you're going to be a president or vice president, or you're going to be a governor or deputy governor of this country, you must have a university degree. For those who had primary school certificates in 1966, the quality of education they had then, positions they occupied then, is equivalent to position of managing directors who have uh, uh, degrees today. They could read and write fluently. In fact, teachers were drawn from even primary six holders. They were teachers in classrooms. They were directors in ministries. Do we continue in that step today to say that a primary six school certificate holder should still occupy such positions today, even in employment, private sector. Go and apply for a job with school cert, with primary school, first school, school living certificate. What kind of job would you be given? We have been told severally that the visa to prosperity all over the world, it has been proven, the visa to prosperity, three things, education, education, education. I cannot believe that in this modern age, some people would oppose and say no, no education. Don't go to school. Don't go to school and be the president of Nigeria. 
It is ludicrous to think that way, Mr. Speaker. And I stand to vehemently support this bill, and I pray that my colleagues will see reason and support it as well. Nearly all of us have been to establish higher institution in his or her domain. And the reason is to get your people educated. So why do we want to stay behind? If we can do this, we should be able to support this bill to get our people to go to school. Whoever is to go to a whole position in Nigeria to have knowledge and know why he's in the office. But Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.